Gasoline is extremely densely packed with energy. One liter of it contains 8000 calories, enough to keep you alive and happy for 4 days. But unfortunately we can't run on fossil fuels, and we can't run on electricity either, but this shouldn't stop us to wonder. If we were somehow able to use the electricity from the wall instead of food, how much of it we would need to keep ourselves alive? Even though it might not seem like it, we need a lot of energy to power ourselves up, around 2000 kilocalories per day. If we convert that number into a bit more universal unit, we get around 8 megajoules of energy. That's a lot of joules. Now we have to ask what would be our power draw. If you are from the US, the maximum power draw from one outlet is probably around 2000 watts. Here in Europe that number can go up to 3000 watts. But let's not go there just now. What if you were to use this 65 watt laptop charger? How much time would you need to refill yourself to your full capacity? Around 34 hours of constant charging to give you enough energy to last 24 hours. This means that even if you are constantly connected with the charger, you would die in just a few days or weeks. Microwaves are usually in a 1000 watt range. If we were to take that much power, we would fulfill our energy needs for the day in just over 2 hours. One thing that is interesting to think about if we are feeding ourselves that much power, more than a laptop would draw at full use even, then where all of that energy go throughout the day? Mostly to heat. Humans are essentially heat lamps, we are not very efficient machines. Yes, we can move things around, pedal a bicycle and exert energy in many different ways, but at the end of the day, those things are quite small compared to the amount of energy we just output as heat. You know what this means, right? This means that you are glowing. We are glowing in infrared part of the spectrum, that's how mosquitoes find us in the dark. But we are glowing in the visible spectrum too. Although that light is a thousand times fainter than our eyes can detect, we are still freaking glowing. There is a 1 in 3000 chance of getting killed or injured by lightning in your lifetime, in the US. Beware. But what happens when lightning hits a large body of water, like sea? How far does the electricity actually travel? Basically, lightning stays more on the surface of the water rather than penetrating it. That's because water is a reasonably good conductor, and good conductor keeps most of the current on the surface. This is why most of the marine animals won't even notice lightning strike above them. But we are not marine animals, and we can swim underwater as they can. We are floating on the surface, the exact same surface that conducts most of that electricity. But don't be alarmed, if you are in water and lightning strikes 30 meters away from you, you should be fine. But that's not the real danger here. The real danger is that if you are swimming in open waters, your head will be closer to the clouds than the water around you, and that's when things might get a bit messy. With that in mind, if you can hear a thunder, get out of the water as quickly as possible. But what if we were somehow able to use all of that power to power ourselves up? Lightnings are super powerful. One strike can release up to 10 billion joules of energy. That's enough joules to keep you up and running for 1200 days. More than 3 years. But currently our biology isn't exactly compatible with this kind of energy consumption. So we'll have to wait just a bit more. Be smart and be safe. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. Your support means so much to me. If you have any science or even hypothetical what if questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you again.